Hey everybody, in my last video making the experiment with acetic acid to remove rust from this object, at the end of the treatment I've noticed kind of a patina on the hammer that easily came off by just rubbing with my fingers. It came off as a fine slush leaving a metallic shade on my glove and without thinking too much I've said it got to be iron powder. But the viewer posted a clever comment to the video pointing out that the powder was not iron but carbon since hammers are made out of high carbon steel. So I thought to carry a little experiment with this. First let's test with a magnet. If this is iron the magnet should attract it at least even slightly but nothing happens. Not even some powder on the surface of the magnet. Then let's test if this powder is conductive. I pose the probes of this multimeter very close one to the other to measure the resistivity on several points on the glove at the maximum range of this instrument, which is not that high as it can reach 2 megaohms. And the result is no conductivity, or if there's something, it's gotta be more than 2 megaohms in resistivity. So I had the idea to put a series of strokes with this pencil, as its lid is made of graphite, which is a form of carbon, to see its conductivity, or rather, its resistivity. This is actually conductive. Let's try it. One point five mega, and uh, if I put these terminals, these probes uh, a little bit closer together, I can do an interesting thing. If I put this, you can see five hundred ohm, five hundred uh, five hundred kilo, and if I stretch the thing. As you can see, stretching the change of the resistivity. So this is interesting, an interesting uh, elasto resistive material. <laughs> this is kerosene, uh, and kerosene is uh, should have the ability to uh, dissolve carbon. And let's say what uh, what happens. Mm. Not that easy to remove. Yeah, something. But uh, yeah, not much. So This is not easily removed by kerosene, so uh, I'm not sure. No, I'm not even sure this is actually carbon. Uh, let's try here with the graphite. As you can see, graphite is easily removed and dissolved by kerosene. This is acetone. Let's see if acetone is able to remove this. Mm. Some uh, has gone, but mostly is remained on the glove. So uh, it is hard to remove this stuff. <laughs> well, this is hydrochloric acid. It is uh, at 33% uh, of concentration. Let's pour a drop uh, here. Here. Mm. It is not uh, even dissolved hydrochloric acid. So, definitely, this is not iron. This is not iron because it would have reacted with the hydrochloric, the hydrochloric acid. Instead, we see the paper is <laughs> perfectly white. No reaction at all.
So this is not iron for sure, uh, but uh, uh, I'm not uh, even <laughs> so sure that this is carbon. Uh, very likely this is carbon, but uh, I was not able to, to prove with certainty that this is actually carbon. So uh, I'm not actually sure about this. But let me know what you think, leaving your comments in the section below. For now that's all folks, thanks for watching, see you next time, bye!